we've managed to get a little bit of a better spot. Our little friend over here is still around and keeps coming up to the car every now and then. And I could hear some lions roaring too. It sounds like it's coming from the Manuleti side, somewhere around there. It's not particularly close. It was very faint. It was actually the hyena that alerted me because this little one was right at the car and then it stopped and looked and listened. And then I thought, oh, wonder what you're listening at. Now, Ash is one you're wondering if he or she is actually a cub. If I'm not mistaken, I think James may have identified this and said that this little one was a male. Um, so it's still quite young. I, I, I would still call it a cub. It's not quite a sub-adult just yet. So, so yes, even though it has got the, the coloration of an adult, it is still very small. It's only about maybe less than a third of the size of an adult, so it's still got quite a bit of growing to do. So I would quite, I would still be happy with calling it a cub. It's still less than six months old, at least, somewhere around there. They're very quiet. There's just two adults here. It looks like two females. I can't see, you, I mean, you can see the view we've got. It's exactly the same that's on camera. It's almost impossible to try and identify them just from their backs. I can't remember if any of them had any specific patterns on their bodies, but the grass is also concealing them. Now, I wonder where our little friend is, our, the teeny tiny hyena cub that we did get to see. I know Gert was telling me that it wasn't here either yesterday, but like I said, it, it could just be in the burrow, maybe it's just getting some extra sleep. If mom is not here, it might not feel comfortable to come out. Maybe it's just not very happy. Let's just see, oh, that's lovely, going over and giving mom some love giving her a quick groom isn't that nice so even hyenas can be affectionate even though they've always been portrayed as the bad guys in all the movies they're not too bad i'm going to lick you some more and lick you so hopefully you wake up so i have someone to play with go fetch your friend but we'll keep coming back to these dens to see if anything is going on throughout the day as well. Hopefully they'll be back this afternoon and we'll be able to get to see them again. And I, I know it's so nice to be able to just sit here and actually just enjoy them. It's a very good learning opportunity now to just sit and observe all this behavior. You don't often get to see hyenas being affectionate either. I know I could probably count on my fingers how many times I've actually seen that. So very, very sweet. Where are you going now? Going to the next hyena. I'm going to see what you're doing. Now you're also sleeping. The little one is probably very frustrated that everybody is fast asleep. But while you were resting up and probably sleeping through the night, mom was out scavenging. There's definitely at least one hyena. I got a video of it again around camp. It's not as great. I did hear some more rustling a bit, so there could could have been more of them around. You see, they're not tolerating this little one. Go away, I'm trying to have a nap. You can hear how quiet is around the den too. Not too, many, too much noise is going on. We got a horrendous smell as well as we drove a big loop around the den. It smelled like dead fish. It wasn't great. Now, Marcel, you're wondering if hyenas' tongues are as rough as cats. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not, because obviously a cat's tongue needs to be quite rough because they will lick and lick and lick away at uh, an animal's coat and actually remove the hair like that. Whereas hyenas don't seem to do that. They just pull. They'll actually tear open the carcass and then eat around, and they often just eat the in all the skin with the hair on. They don't seem to mind it too much. It's actually quite interesting. So I'm not sure. I don't think so. Just from just from what I said, I think maybe it wouldn't be as as rough. I mean, you've felt the difference between when your cat licks your hand versus when your dog licks your hand, and your dog dog definitely does have a softer tongue. So I'm going to say no. I don't think that their tongues are as rough. They don't use them in the same way. Yes, they're using them to still groom their coats, but you don't need much. What are you doing? You see, it's smelling and biting. I wonder if it's got something stuck on its fur that this youngster just seems to think that it's quite appetizing, an unusual scent, an unusual smell. You're going to come back to us? Are you going to come and lick my feet now? <laughs> I love this little guy. It is so precious. 
I'm just the whole world is his oyster really he's just like I can do whatever I want I can come to the car I can go back into the burrow there we go depositing an anal secretion can we see anything on that grass can we see where the secretion is because I keep telling you I want to find some anal pastings for you to get a closer look let's see if it does it again we can see which one it uses now as they paste it's I'm glad he's doing it this way and not turning his rump towards us because it's not necessarily the prettiest thing oh, we may we might see it now let's see yep yeah, we're gonna get a, a rear end view here not, I don't think it's quite learned how to do it just yet. it's obviously seen the adults doing it and it needs a bit of time to practice and perfect it <laughs> Penny, you said that the hyena cub is probably bored. You're quite right. Look at it. It's walking around. It's investigating. It doesn't really know what to do with itself at the moment. And it, it's a tough life for the youngsters. I mean, you know what it's like to have your children. You've got to keep, constantly keep them entertained, whether it's with toys or, you know, just getting them to play outside or you physically having to entertain them. You can see that the adults here are not interested at all. They've had a busy night. They're tired. They want to use this time to relax. So the little one has to find other ways to try and entertain itself and it will it will it will go about its day playing with things it might chew on a stick i just wish it had its little friend out because then they would be able to well keep each other company and play around now it's also important that this little one does investigate with its nose and smell the various things out here and start practicing and to do the anal pastings I know it's sorry it's not a nice word but there's no other way to really put it because that's exactly what it is so we're not going to sugarcoat anything we haven't got uh, any school drives on just now so we, we won't necessarily just keep it PG yes there we go wake up little one come and play this side and the reason why I say it is so important is because each group of hyenas each clan of hyenas has got their own unique scent and it's important that this little one learns what its clan scent is going to be. Because say it does go wandering off somewhere, it may get a little bit lost, it's going to have to then figure out where to go. Where's it gone now? Onto the other side. Maybe it's gone to where we'd stopped to smell around to see what, uh, what our smells are. Oh no, there it is. It's back again. It's just did a little loop. Just looking off to the side. You're so precious. Well, we'll sit here for a little bit longer and see what it gets up to. While we do that and play the patience game to see if our other little friend comes out, we'll go back across to Ali, who's moved on from her cat search and is just paying attention to the birds.